Well, we are in multiplayer and this isn't exactly how I was thinking I was going to start this video out, but I just spotted a level 5 mule deer. Now we just got to try and figure out where he is. There he is, right there. Look at that beast. But anyway, as I was going to say, I wasn't really expecting to start the video off like this, but we've got a bunch of stream highlights today, including one trophy that I have really been wanting to find for a very, very long time. I was a little bit louder in the mic than I would have uh, liked, so I'll probably have to lower that audio down, but you guys will see why once we get to there, but I think we'll jump into some of the other clips first, so without further ado, let's jump into them right now. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a level five. Oh my gosh, I think this is, uh, it looks like it's the one that looks like a normal uh, wild boar coloration, but oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, please don't let us screw this up. With this being at nighttime and us using regular scope, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared that we might screw this up, but we're going to do our best here. Oh man, he turned just barely too much. Please. Let us get a good shot on him. And let him be a diamond. I am going to be so happy if he makes it. He's like three points over the diamond estimate. So there's a chance, but there's also a pretty good chance that he'll troll. That's so awesome. We finally got a level five feral pig down. The last one that I got trolled, and it was a black gold, so I really hope this one doesn't do the same. And it was so hard to tell what fur variation he is, but I think it's just the normal brown. Or, wait. That might be brown hybrid. Yeah, this is definitely brown hybrid. That is so cool. No way that I can get a picture because of where he is and the fact that it's night. So let's see. No, it's a troll. It's a troll. 141.90. That's a bad troll. That's a really bad troll. Man, I can't catch a break with these pigs. This is the second troll that I've got since Tiawaro released. My only ever diamond feral pigs were both in early access, so I wasn't able to keep either of them. That's so sad. I'm so sad now. <laughs> that is an albino mountain lion. And it almost tricked me into thinking it was a Rocky Mountain Elk. Because there's a bunch of Rocky Mountain Elk cows right next to it. And they all look extremely bright white. But that is definitely an albino mountain lion. It's just a female, but it is a level 4 female. What? What just happened there? I think we got it that time though. How did that one not hit? I'm actually really curious. What is going on with these shots? Some of those looked like they should have been dead on. Others I'll admit weren't great. But at least a couple of those should have hit. That's it right there. That's it, right there. It's just a female, so I don't really care if we get full score. Let's just blast it like that. Because it is just a female mountain lion. Not really anything too special. And it actually just went down. Maybe that was actually a good shot. That actually might have been vitals. If it was, I'll be kind of surprised, but... It's kind of looking like it was. There we go. There is an albino mountain lion. Yeah, we didn't get vitals, but it's whatever. Just a female one anyways. Still cool though. It's nice to get more albinos. I haven't seen a melanistic one in forever though, and I would like to get one of those again. But that's still pretty cool. At least we finally found something good on the day. I have never seen a level 3 bighorn sheep female. What? 
That's interesting. That thing's really cool, actually. <laughs> Jeez, I can't say I've ever seen one of those. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That's so cool. I've never seen that before. That's really cool. Honestly, that looks better than some of the males, if I'm being honest. <laughs> that actually looks really good. That's super cool. I like that a lot. That's gonna look cool in the lodge, guys. That's gonna look really cool in there. That thing's upper estimate is just not great at all. But I mean, it is a five, so... We pretty much have to take it down. It's a mixed two, man. Quite sad. Quite sad to see, and wow, that lag. Where? There it is. 209 is diamond. Alright, so this guy probably won't make it then. It's big unfortunate because we didn't have a mixed goat with this uh, pattern as a diamond. I think we had the other one. 200 scoring. That's really sad. Super, super sad. But I mean, it is what it is. We'll find another one. Well, if that isn't just the biggest black bear you've ever seen. What a giant. What a massive black bear. Level 2. 13 to 16 on the estimate. What a giant. What an absolute giant. <laughs> that might be the smallest black bear I've ever seen. I've seen plenty of level 3s, but never a 2. I've never found a 2 before. That's a tiny pronghorn, too. This server's had just the smallest animals possible. What's my biggest duck? I've got a max weight and max score uh, mallard duck, so 21 would be the highest. <laughs> fun fact, Smash is cool. That is a uh, fun fact for sure, and it's a correct fact. Knew I heard you. Don't look at me like that. And why aren't you losing health? There we go. Took longer than I expected it to. 1430, it didn't even make silver. A bronze male black bear. That's crazy. I didn't know they could get this small. We're going to save that just in case we uh, ever want to tax him for a Hall of Shame or something. That is a level 5 Mouflon. That is a level 5 Mouflon right there. We got trolled on the last one. That one we found in multiplayer trolled us. Please let this one be a diamond. It looks like it's got much better curl. I think this one has better curl, so we should be okay. But it's hard to tell. Wait! Oh my gosh, it's a gray! That's a gray! I just realized that's a gray, Mouflon! Oh my gosh! That's a level 5 gray! And it looks huge! Please don't troll. Please don't troll. We nailed it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we got it. I can't believe it. That's a gray. Oh my gosh. I have wanted one of these for so long. Please don't troll. If this trolls, I'm going to be so sad. I've wanted one of these ever since they added them. Oh, man. You know, looking closer, I kind of think it's a troll. Oh, please don't. 
Please don't troll. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know if that looks good or not. Looks like a troll. Yes, diamond. Pretty sure it will make it. It's gonna make it. Looks like the troll I got. That's not a troll. Then curls at the end. I don't know. We'll see. It's a diamond. Oh my gosh. It actually made it. It made it. And it's a big one. It's actually a giant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so happy. I can't believe this thing made diamond. This is one of my dream trophies. Wow. And to think we never would have even found this today if I had continued hunting on Tiawaroa for red deer. But because we switched over to Quattro from Tiawaroa crashing a bunch, we managed to find this beast right here. Wow. I can't believe it. We got a diamond gray mouflon. And it's a big one at that. Jeez. I thought it looked big from a distance, but when we got up close, I started to second guess. But, wow. That thing's a monster. And for it to be a gray fur type also, that's insane. So, now that we have gone through all of those clips, let's go ahead and try to find this mule deer. He went up into these trees and I haven't seen him come down yet, so... I'm guessing he went a little bit further than the rest of them. The big ones typically do. But once we see him, we'll go ahead and actually he's right there. Let's try to get his attention by shooting next to him with the 22. See if we can just get him to stop. There we go. And that will do the trick. Nice, he's losing HP already. So that is a pretty big mule deer down, and once again, multiplayer is delivering. Honestly, I never get tired of seeing big mule deer on Silver Ridge Peaks. It's just amazing to see. And it says that the host of this server is level 60, but this is only the second lake that I've been at, and we already found a level 5 mule deer. And if you go on here, there was absolutely no zones. I found all of these, and all these lakes are pretty much zoneless. The only places that have zones is down here, so that leads me to believe that the original host of this server must have been low level. Otherwise, there's no way there'd be this little need zones, and these are the types of servers that you typically find really good trophies on. Which is why I always say that it's not necessarily worth it to hunt every single server that you jump into in multiplayer. You gotta find the good ones, and this right here is a really good one. And there he is, a beautiful looking mule deer. Looks like it is the blonde fur type, which honestly, don't really expect anything other than the blonde fur type at this point. It seems to be one of the more common ones to get for the big mule deer. But we'll get a quick picture of that, and let's go ahead and claim this. 320.30. That is a good looking mule deer right there. Very beautiful muley. I would have liked it to be a gray fur type or a common, but I mean, it is what it is. Still a nice looking mule deer. And it's probably one of my least favorite racks, but even these ones look pretty impressive, so can't really complain. Such a beautiful trophy. Hopefully there'll be some more good stuff on the server, and I mean, if there is, I guess you guys will see that in here also. Ooh, that is an albino mountain lion, level 3 female. I had just seen a gray one go by and I thought that it was albino, but this one right here definitely is. It's much brighter than the other one I saw. I kind of wish I had recorded the other one just so we could kind of show the difference, but we do have an albino right in front of us, so we're going to try and take that out. And then once we take it down, we'll probably go jump into the lodge and check out all the stuff that we got in this video. Because we do have quite a bit to get through. and. Uh, as of recording this, I don't really know uh, how long this video is going to end up being because I haven't edited anything down. So all those clips from the previous streams might go on for quite a while, so I don't want to necessarily spend too much time on something like this. So let's just go up and claim it, and then we'll jump straight into the lodge to check everything out. There she is. What a beautiful mountain lion. 
This is another one of those trophies that I just never get tired of finding. Albino and Melanistic Mountain Lions are some of the coolest rares in the game. And this one's not too bad of a size either. Level 3 is definitely not the worst that it could be. The level 2s are a little more common, so not too bad. It did make silver. Let's go ahead and tax that. What a beautiful looking mountain lion. Absolutely love these. But as I was saying, let's not waste too much time on this. Let's go ahead and jump into the lodge now. It is not every day that you find something as crazy as a gray diamond mouflon. And as you guys probably saw in the video, I got really excited when I saw this guy. And he now has a home in our main room of this trophy lodge. And I think this wall looks better than it used to. I had all black buck here before, but I think reorganizing it a little bit and putting our best common Iberian mouflon and actually I don't even know if that's our best but I put one of the commons here along with our gray and then the two albino warthogs with two of the bigger black buck from the OG scoring system I think this looks much better than it did before I'm really liking the way this wall is coming together I'm still pretty sad that that level 5 feral pig ended up trolling us but honestly, that Mouflon made up for it. I'm really happy that we got that thing. And in the next video, we actually have another really cool trophy that I ended up getting off of Silver Ridge Peaks. And you guys are going to end up seeing that in the next one. But it's going to be almost as crazy as this Mouflon. It's another trophy I've been looking for for a long time that we finally managed to seal the deal on. And if you guys were in there in the live stream, you guys saw it happen live. But... We'll be showing a video of that very soon, and I'm super excited about that too. But anyway, guys, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring the notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment on the video with a video idea or suggestions for future content or just anything that you guys would like to tell me. We will be doing some more 60 minute diamond videos. I'm not sure exactly when the next one will come out, but I want to try and get one done within the next couple days. So stay tuned for that also along with more highlights videos. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.